Hello everyone. Welcome to LRDA Prep. My name is Samir Sultana. And uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss a data puzzle from CAT 2004, a very important set, exactly the kind of set which, uh, which, is, which are coming in uh, CAT exams. Uh, this one particular set is based on the concept of data puzzle. It also involves the concept of non-unique uh, 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 cases. That means the kind of set where we are supposed to make the multiple cases. And also it's a condition based puzzle. So it, it, it is basically a combination of three different concepts of logical reasoning. So everybody should definitely try this. Let's have a look at it. This came in CAT 2004. Uh, the information is not much, right? You can see that uh, there are only five to six line, uh, five to six conditions that, that are given here. Let's first understand the direction what the set is saying. Answer the question on the basis of the information given below. 21 participants from four continents, Africa, America, Australia and Europe. So there are four continents, right? These are the names and the number of participants that are mentioned here are 21. So just underline it The number of participants are 21, right? So these are the, you know, important numbers that you need to underline. Otherwise you'll forget to use it. Now each part, they, they are attending a United Nations conf conference. Each participant was an expert in one of the four fields. And these four fields mentioned are labor, health, population study, and refugee relocation. Now, after reading this first paragraph, you get to know what I am supposed to do is I am supposed to arrange these 20, I am supposed to find out these 21 participants who are coming from different continents and they are attending the conference on different subjects. So there has to be four into four table that you need to make, right? Uh, what are those, what will be the variables of this? Uh, you see that. First, you need to mention the continents, right? The continents mentioned over here are Africa, America, Australia and Europe, right? These are the four continents. So just mention it, make a four into four table. And then you also need to mention the different, sub different subjects on which they are attending the conference. Let's also make a one more uh, column for the total number of participants part participating in each of the different fields then you have four fields are labor health population study and refugee relocation population study and refugee relocation right so let's make one more row for the total also okay now just use this information right uh, and don't do the mistake of finding the unique value in every cell because it's a kind of set which is a condition puzzle so there might be some information in the question or the type of questions are such that you don't have to find out the unique number in every cell. I have seen most of the students are doing this mistake of trying to find out the unique values in every cell and without looking at the questions. You might not even use that, you know, you might not even require that information, right, based on which the question have been asked. So just try to look at the question also, whether there are some information given in the questions or not, right? Uh, do we require a value in every cell to answer the question, right? So don't do that mistake. Just try to note down what information is available here. Just try to fill in the information from the direction set in the table, right? Now, whatever information that you can fill, you need to fill and then just straight away go to the question and sense what are the type of question that they are asking. Do I need to find out the unique value in every cell or do I just need to answer the questions based on the conditions given in the question? Or do I need to use the information from the question itself? Okay, so don't try to find out the unique case, right? Whatever information you can find using this, just try to fill in in the table. The first information is the number of labor experts in the camp was exactly half the number of experts in each of the three other categories. So the number of labors experts in the camp, right? That means the total value that is coming over here is half of the number of experts in each of the other category. That means if I'm taking a value of 2x over here, the value in the labor will come out to be x. And because this value is half of each of these values, that means the total number will also be 2x here and the total number that also will be 2x here. Now see that the total number of experts in all of these four organizations from all of these four continents will be 2x plus 2x plus 2x plus x, that is 7x. And because in the question it is given that, 7x is equal to 21. So you see that x will be equal to 3. Now f, if f, if f is, x, is equal to 3, then you get to know 
what are the number of experts attending the labor conference and health and population study and the refugee allocation. So now I can just use the value of x. The value here will be 6. Sorry, the value of x is 3 here. So this is equal to 3. Just let me create a space here. Right, so I'm putting the value of x as 3 here, right? So you see, I'll straight away get the total value here. This is 3, this is 6, this is 6, this is 6, 6 and total will be 21. Next it says, Africa did not send any labor expert. Otherwise, every continent including Africa sent at least one expert for each category. That means there is only one cell which is having a value of zero. Africa did not send any labor expert. This is Africa continent. Labor expert is this row. So the value here will be coming zero. Right? The value that you need to put in, in this cell is zero. And the zero will now will not appear in any of the other cell because it specifically mentioned that otherwise every continent including Africa sent at least one expert for each category. That means zero in this complete matrix can come over here only. You cannot place zero at any other cell. And now you see that the total value is over here three and I need to put minimum value one here, minimum value one here, minimum value one here. So you see that if I'm supposed to take the total as three, can I say that one will come here, one will come here, one will come here because zero cannot come over here, right? And so the one plus one plus one. So you know the values in the first complete row now. Okay, so we have used the second information, now let's go to the next. None of the continents sent more than three experts in any category. None of the cell can have a value which is more than three. The maximum value that can appear in any cell is three, right? It cannot come more than three, but three is a possible value. Uh, more than three is not possible. Okay. So just write it down. Uh, more than three, not possible. Uh, this is a sign of not possible, right? Okay. If there had been one less Australi Australian expert, then the America would have had twice as many experts as each of the other continent. Now, this is a very important statement that you need to understand. There had been one less Australian expert. So, this is Australia, right? Question says, let's say, let's say the number of expert are Y here. As per the statement, if there would have been one less Australian as compared to the original value, instead of the value y, if the value here is y minus 1, then the Americans would have had twice as many experts as each of the other category. That means this value then would have been two times of this value. That is 2y, 2 into y minus 1. And because it is mentioned twice of each of the value, that means this value also need to be y minus 1 and this value also need to y minus 1. Only then the experts coming in from the America continent will be twice from each of the category. The word mentioned here is each of the other category, right? But in this case, actual number of experts are y. But if I take one lesser value, only then this is becoming double of it. And this is also becoming double of this. That means the value here, the actual value should be here y minus 1. Actual value should here be y minus 1. Now because the total is 21, now I can use the linear equation again. I can say that y minus 1 plus 2y minus 2 plus y plus y minus 1. That should be equal to 21. The actual experts from America are y not y minus 1. This is only a condition that if I reduce this value by 1, this become double of it. Now, using it, 2y plus y is 3y. 3y plus y plus y, 5y. Uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2. And yes, minus 4, minus 4 will be taken on the right hand side. That is 25. So, the value of y will be 5. Now, if the value of y will be 5, I can find out the value in each of these region, right, uh, from different continents. Let's put the value of y here, right. What I'm supposed to put is, now putting the, I'm putting the value of y here in this, right, and then you can, okay, y is 5, right. That means this value is 5. This is y minus 1, that is 4. This is also y minus 1, 4. America is twice of it or twice of when you do this, uh, when you uh, subtract one from this. So this will be it. Now we also know the number of experts coming from the different continents. Okay. This is the only information that I am left with now to use. Mike and Alfonso are the leading experts of the population study. 
who attend the conference they are from australia so these are the two people who are coming from australia and they are attending the conference they are expert of population study so that's that's mean they will definitely be attending the conference uh, in the population study so the value here will be coming as 2 okay anyways 3 cannot come over here because if i put 3 here 1 here 4 when i need to put one value in these two cell as 0 which is not possible so more than 2 is not possible here 2 plus 1 3 the total are 5 so can i say that the remaining one value will be coming here and the one will be coming here because zero is not possible okay now four is here one is here can i say that if i don't if i don't need to put zero anywhere so the remaining three values will be distributed in these three cells right so now we have this complete row this complete column and this complete column and still we do not know the values over here right a lot of possibilities a lot of combination can be made because if I have 6 as a total here, then I can place 2 here, 2 here, right? I also have 4 value here. I can take 1 here, 2 here, 1 here. So a lot of combinations are possible. We need to see which of that, uh, what are the different cases that we need to make. But do I need to make all these cases before I go to the question? No. Let's have a look at the question. Do I need this information or there's some information that you've given the question itself? If you try to make all the possible cases over here, I guess you'll be wasting a lot of time, uh, which might not be useful for you while answering the question. For example, in the first question, what do we have? And which of the following numbers cannot be determined, cannot be determined from the information given? Cannot be determined, right? Number of labor experts from the America. Number of labor experts from the America. Labor experts from America, this can be determined, right? I'm supposed to find out the value which cannot be determined, okay? So first is not my answer. First option is definitely eliminated. Number of health experts from Europe. Now let's have a look. Number of health experts from Europe. Number of health experts from Europe. I have this information uniquely. So I know how, uh, I, I already have this number. But in the question I'm supposed to answer, the value which cannot be uniquely determined. So this is also eliminated. Number of health experts from Australia. Number of health experts from Australia. Okay. Number of health experts from Australia is also uniquely determined. So third option is also eliminated. I'm supposed to find out the information which cannot be uniquely determined. So if three are uniquely determined, that means straight away you can say the number of experts in re refugee re relocation from Africa cannot be uniquely determined. So fourth option is the answer of the question. And you can also cross check in Africa uh, from the refugee relocation, there can be in multiple cases. But do I need to find out that value? The language of the question is not asking you to tell me what value will be coming over here. The question is asking you whether this information is uniquely determinable or not. It's not, right? What is that value? I don't need to find out the answer the, uh, to, to answer this question, right? So therefore, Whenever you are solving a question, just don't take this assumption that every cell need to be filled only then you can answer the question. And if cells are not getting filled, that means there's no point to go to the question. No, it's not like that, right? Uh, out of four questions, examiner might ask you the two questions for which you need to make all the possible cases. But there will be definitely two questions out of four, which will not require you to make the cases. And even if the cases are supposed to be handled, there will be some information given in the question also which can be used, right? So do not try to look for, you know, every un uh, cell's unique value, right? Uh, there, there will definitely be one or two questions which you can, you know, solve uh, by just filling in the information from the directions and uh, you, one or two questions can definitely be solved. Okay, the remaining three questions that I want you to solve, right? Uh, uh, just give it a try, right? Question number second, question number three and question number four. I'll show you this question. This is question number two. Before you watch the next video of this uh, set where I'll be discussing question number two, question number three and question number four, I request you to please attend this question by yourself and then watch the solution and uh, whatever mistakes you will be doing in two, three or four and uh, you can also cross check your answer whether they are right or wrong in the next video. But give it an attempt, let's, okay, Let, let's give it an attempt and you will get to know where are, where are the points where you are making the mistakes, are you not reading the questions properly or uh, there's some other errors that you're doing so note down those mistakes so that you can correct it later okay so give it a try uh, give it a try question number two and question number three question number two three and four need to be attempted by you i'll be giving you a solution in the next part of the video okay thank you so much for watching this video 
and if you are willing to go for an academy plus subscription to attend my live sessions please use my referral code lrdi sameer this will give you 10% off on an academy plus purchase and you will also be able to attend all of my live sessions thank you for watching this video please subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your friends who are preparing for mba entrance exams thank you